Ash says, my bad. <laughs> I'm male and 32 from the UK. Ah, hello, Ash. Ash says, I have anxiety for the entire day and haven't been able to leave my room and trying to figure things out. That's the problem, Ash. I don't need to go any further. That's the problem. You're trying to figure things out. There are nothing to figure out. There is no answer to be had. You're looking for answers that there's no answer to be had. You want to get some kind of a proof of who you are, what you are. The proof is in the pudding. You are the pudding. And the proof is the fact that you're born and you're born in a certain way and you cannot change. However you knew yourself ever, that's how you are. And that's how you will be. And nothing can change that. As I've said many times before, you're not cow's milk. That you can be milk one day and through some temperature changes, whatnot, become sour milk, buttermilk, and then maybe in a while you become yogurt, and then possibly, who knows, someday you become cheese. This is not like that. It's the chromosomes. You're born in a certain way, however gender you're born as, that's how it's going to be. You don't have to worry about changing. Nobody switches around. If that was the case, that people would have turned into something else despite of how they've been created and they were born? Well, then why don't they turn back to something else or to the same thing that they turned from later on? I mean, if you can go from here to there, then also there can be changed to here. So when is it going to stop? Every five years, 10 years, 20 years, we're going to be changing gender? So if the... <laughs> if this nonsense that somebody turned from one gender to another, if that was true, then it could have turned back from that to what it was, and then again turn to something else later on. So where is the, any notion of stability? Who would know what gender they are? That's not how, uh, <laughs> how creation works. <laughs> so... And that's one thing that you should be focusing on. And the other thing is that you simply do not need to figure anything out. There's nothing to figure out. There is a you, and that's how it's going to be, that as it has been, that's all. The rest of it is confusion of thoughts, malfunction of the signaling system of thoughts. That's all. And he said, and... It feels like I'm becoming gay or accepting it, yet I'm still afraid of it. Accepting what? What if your thought would say that, would not be talking or trying to convince you that you are different gender? But it, what if your thought would say that um, you are of different race? Let's say you're uh, British, and your thoughts would say, uh, you're British, but you're originally coming from, I don't know, a different planet, or coming from a different country, or different race that you always thought you were. Or perhaps it suggests that you are a certain uh, animal, like you are a tiger or you're an elephant, or you're a cow, or you are whatever. What about that? Why is it that it's believable for you, it is logical for you to ever accept a suggestion from your brain about your gender, but when it comes to saying that you're a different nationality, or different race, or, or simply from different planet, or an animal, you quickly put stop to no, that cannot be possible. Well, listen, it's the same, uh, same thing in, the, in any other um, um, suggestions. What's the difference? If you cannot be changed in your nationality, if you cannot be changed from, let's say, a certain shape of eyes that you have to a certain different shape of eyes, if you cannot be changed from the race you are to something else, these are all genetic, right? 
same thing with your gender. It's genetic. You can't change. Now, whatever suggestion comes to your head, if you are a child and, you, you know, I remember that uh, we were warned when we were kids because the environment that we were living in, there were lots of um, people who were meaning to, you know, trick the little boys or girls and go and do something to them. So we were aware of making sure that we don't listen to people who suggest things and try to convince you. Well, there is no difference when the brain tries to suggest and convince you because brain is also not you. Those people who were trying to pray and suggest to a child, to little kids, or to us schoolboys, they were from outside. They were not us, right? They were trying to make suggestions to convince you of something that you're not interested and you're not, um, um, that is, that for you is wrong. Now, brain makes that kind of suggestions God knows how many times a day of different kinds. But because it's happening in your head, you kind of think that oh, it must have any value. No, it doesn't. It's no different than somebody else suggesting something that you're not interested in. But why do you entertain just because your brain has suggested to it? Same idea. You were born and created in a certain way, and that's how it's going to be. Regardless of what your gender is, you cannot be threatened. No matter how and what gender you are, you could have intrusive thoughts and OCD thoughts. But you're not supposed to pay attention to it. Because you got to believe in your creation, how things work. If that was the case, how come we don't see a... Um, if this is something that is possible, then why is it that, I don't know, lions don't turn to be lioness or change their gender? And you don't see that in any other part of nature, that they flip-flop. Two years this gender and ten years the other gender. It just doesn't make sense, does it? So you have to focus on the fact that these are thoughts. And thoughts have no basis and no actuality. If you become, if you come into, ter into terms with that, then you wouldn't allow any anxiety to take place and you would understand that these are just thoughts and brain makes all kinds of nonsense. They're all irrelevant. Simple. Um, and he says, I also keep reviewing my sexual and romantic history. Don't. You need not to. You're not changing. You can't change. It's a suggestion. It's like somebody... You know, like the kid who's going to school and somebody keeps following him says, oh, hey, you know, this and that. And as long as the kid is ignoring that, the kid is safe. So it doesn't turn into any action because the kid is smart, doesn't believe the suggestion from somebody who's coming out there and trying to suggest things that is not of interest or proper for that uh, little human being. Your brain is not doing the same kind of a thing, being intrusive. So you've got to be careful of that. You don't listen to people making obscene suggestions to you, or you don't listen to the brain that makes obscene suggestions all day long. So, 